looks like we... Okay, I'm gonna hand you this, okay? There's like a sensor oh. in the center of it. I need you to put your thumb on it. Good try, good try. I had one hand. Yeah. I only had one hand on my gun. Only way to hold your shaft, son. That's the only way to do it. One hand. One hand. Search your dominance by using one hand. Search and destroy or bomb defusal game modes are the most classic game type around and probably the most played. This applies to games like Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, Rainbow Six, and in VR terms, this has been applied to all of the shooters, contractors, Pavlov, Onward, and Veil. Vale. However, Rainbow Six has revamped and revitalized the formula, giving their operators different guns, gadgets, abilities, and yet the overall new formula is invigorating for some particular reason. My monkey brain likes this formula despite hating the search and destroy bomb defusal game modes for some reason, and I craved it for VR, and it was there for a while, but I had to play it on my Quest 2, but if you know me, I do not like recording or playing on the quests just because I'm spoiled from my index and it's just hard for me to part from my headset. I've sweat, pissed, shit, and cum because of this headset, and I just wanted to play this game on PC VR. And it's finally here. Um, uh, hello. Uh, welcome to Breachers. Okay. <laughs> Teabag and short stack. <laughs> You wish you could do it. You wish you could do it, huh? <laughs> Despite it being one map currently, I find myself wanting to die more often in this game than others for some reason. I don't know why. Experimenting with every possibility and combination of weapons and gear that the game has to offer, I believe breachers can bring more into VR and not just VR itself, but players as a whole. The amount of things you can do in breachers is actually fucking nuts and they just keep adding to it too. I've been keeping my eyes peeled on the announcements tab on their discord like a crack addict bound to relapse for that next fix. That's probably one of my most anticipated games to come out for VR you know, other than others in the past, you know, but this is something new and it's something that the VR space really needs. I can't where see they? where I'm throwing this, so I advise you all get back. Yeah, and yeah, and Doug, Doug died in the process. Yeah, and then yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, was, uh, who fucking did that? Who fucking did that? Who fucking did that? The menus are completely interactive by touching the buttons in front of you, and the same applies to acquiring attachments, which is one of the coolest features in the game, IMO. Yet there's more we'll get to later on in the video. You can select the attachments you want in the buy phase of each round by gripping your weapon and looking at the side of the firearm. It can be an extended mag, or it can be a new sight. Revolters and Enforcers, which are the two opposing teams, uh, are given different gadgets, minus the more common ones like, like grenades, incendiary grenades, smoke grenades, and healing syringes. Now, I'm not a competitive person at all, but this brought out my inner tryhard for some reason in some of the games. Uh, other times, I was just goofing off because I could goof off. Hi, so I'll... Hello, friend. Oh, you got, you got blow, you got blowy up, you blow. Yep, I've got the blowy, 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 okay, blowy, 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 in the garbage can. Put that blowhole covered. Who put, who put that blowhole there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover Damn that blowhole, son. Bobby. I know that blowhole wasn't there, you I'm gonna plug it with a Huno Quad. As a revolter, or more commonly referred to as defender, you are to protect the plant sites from the enforcers. Basically, you are the villain inside holding the area up. And the revolters can place these futuristic door blockers, these shockwave nades, these tripwires and motion detectors, and it's great. And there's no abilities for each operator. There is no operators. You are the operator. And there is no abilities. It's up to skill, honestly. It's all skill. And honestly, that's what I wanted. This is purely based on skill, and that's what we got, and it's awesome. No abilities, please, in the future, no abilities, regardless. If there's going to be a clone of Breachers or something in the future, no abilities, <laughs> please. Uh, 
Ooh, double tap. The enforcers or the offensive side are to plant an EMP. The gadgets the enforcers are able to use are breaching foam, which just looks like uh, my favorite kind of fluid, if you ask me. <laughs> a drone and a cloaking device. And what makes the enforcers even cooler is the ability to grapple and break barricaded doors and windows, plus the ability to swing in with style. I wasn't expecting a whole animation deal for the break-in swing shit, and honestly, it's pretty fucking sick. It's honestly really sick, it's really dope. A really, really dope feature. You really like that breaching shit, huh? <laughs> Woody. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> it's lit, it's definitely lit as fuck. Right, right now the animation's a little slow, but it's still a dope feature. Breachers hits one of those sweet spots that VR needs to make it boom. There are others that need to happen to make VR pop off, but Breachers is going to be one of those big hitters. And I'm a firm believer of that because I instantly got addicted to playing it. The gameplay is phenomenal and the performance is butter smooth, although it does look similar to the Quest 2 graphics, so that's probably why the performance is there. But either way, it still looks good for what it is. The interactability is beyond words. Everything is like buttons. You push everything, you interact with everything as much as possible. And and honestly, it's very immersive and it's very enjoyable to interact with everything, especially when you're picking out your attachments and picking out your guns. The buy phase is honestly one of the cooler parts to me because you can just, it's just button, button touching. <laughs> it's, I don't know, I don't know why. It's that primal instinct to push a fucking button <laughs> that really makes it great. It's an immersive experience along with the gameplay as a whole. The gameplay is really satisfying, really feel like you're a part of the team sometimes if, in case, you know, in case your teammates aren't being a team. You have the ability to do whatever you can to go to the objective or defeat the enemies. It's really immersive and the gunplay is really well done. The immersion is so glistening. It's like Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. It's immaculate in terms of sweat not anyway not the fat bastard himself <laughs> oh do you find me sexy oh look at my titties <laughs> i only have two icks about the game and one is really minor because it's going to be implemented in the future and i'm sure the other one will be too but i mean who who knows one is the lack of virtual stock since i shake like a fully caffeinated hamster uh and lastly as of right now anyway uh, you can't party up so it's hard to be with your friends. Um, I played with Mr. Witty in Short Stack last night, 13th, when I'm recording this, um, the day after release. Mr. Witty in, Sh in Short Stack and I had to take a while to find a server to get us all in, which again, not very cash money because, well, you want to party up with your friends, right? And you want to play a game. It's it, GG's. It, it <laughs> GG's, homie. GG's. <laughs> 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 Seriously though, that was. Don't you want something to say? What? Yeah. Dude, some ear rape. You think you know what? what? <laughs> this one, you just. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope that they add progression to the game uh, in the in the future in terms of like maybe cosmetics or something or um, or like gun skins or I mean that's cosmetic right just cosmetics in general so it doesn't have the stuff that other VR games need which is progression because progression I've stated it before in the Veil video but progression is probably one of the most requested features for VR right now in my honest opinion because well progression keeps players in. Other than those two things, everything else is great. Well, technically three. Everything else is great. Like the key binding settings are great for true customizability in case you don't like uh, your trigger being the magazine pool or whatever. You could customize everything. Um, I turned off the left ping and I made my gripping of the magazines my left or right grip buttons, which is what I prefer. I like to be immersed that way. Look at how deadpan those eyes are. Staring at you right in your fucking soul. Overall, the game is just honestly way too good. It's it's too good and it's going to be an addiction that will be hard to itch and I'm for it. I'm hype for the future of the game. I'm probably gonna be streaming this a lot more <laughs> because well, again, it's highly addicting and it's an itch that it's gonna be hard to scratch. And if you haven't played it yet, do it. It's cross play so you can play with people on Quest 2 and PC VR and it's worth the side load if you're on Quest. I'll even do you a favor and show you how to install it for both PC VR and Quest. First, 
you need to go into the Breacher's Discord, links in the description as always, find the join alpha channel, then click the GitHub link, and then it'll take you to the link, obviously. And then the install is super easy. Just select any of the options that it brings you to. It, it does show instructions, but if you're following along, click the releases. It'll bring you to the same section regardless. You'll be given two options, one for Quest and one for PC VR. Select the one for you and download it. Once it's downloaded, extract it somewhere on your desktop or wherever else you prefer. I put mine in my D drive. If you're on PC VR, make sure your Steam VR or Oculus headset on software are running before launching the game. You'll then want to select the respective bat file to run the game. Obviously, if you're on Rift or Quest on PC, use the Oculus bat file. And if you're using Steam VR, use the Open VR bat. That's it for PC VR. It's simple as that. You just hit the run button on the and use that all the time. It's easy. That's it for PC VR. As for Quest 2, it's a little bit more of a hassle, but again, it's worth the side load. You'll need the advanced version of SideQuest with your Quest connected, obviously. Then select the APK from computer option on the top right of SideQuest. Then select all the files within the extracted folder and select open. Once all the tasks are completed, you can go in your headset and click the all button on the top right corner of the menus and select unknown sources and search for breachers and then just play it. And that's it. You're done install is completed you're good to go play it because it's worth it if you're still here and not downloading breachers you're a goddamn madman but i appreciate you for coming by truly truly i do if you enjoyed the video please consider hitting the like button commenting to help me fight the algorithm and if you want more dog shit content like this hit the subscribe button and maybe hit the bell if you want to chat with me my fellow souls there's a discord you can join if you want to no one's going to force you obviously i'm not going to hold you any longer go play some breachers you should <laughs>